And now for a quick disclaimer. The T-Bone in the Morning Show is the opinion of T-Bone and T-Bone only, even if you agree with him. They do not reflect the policies or opinions of the Department of Defense, the United States Navy, or the Armed Forces Network. Thanks for listening. That was Chris Brown with Run It here on AFN Rota. Good morning. It's DJ Andres, MC2, Daniel Gaither, and I'm with T-Bone. How you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. You know, yeah. that's fine. It's Friday. It's Friday. Yay. Can't be too excited about that. I can't be excited. No. So I, 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 I could do that for probably all of 30 seconds, and then I just have to talk and be me. So, um, you know, I do this show called T-Bone and Chick Brew in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, we're coming up on our third season. It's a very popular show. People kind of like the interaction that we have. Um, she's supposed to be here right now. Yeah. You know? She's back. She's supposed to be at work. She's supposed to be here doing the show. And she, she's not here. She don't send me a text. She doesn't send me a message. It's just surprise, surprise. I, I get passed around like a used wash rag. It's it's not fun. <laughs> I, I don't know who I'm working with from one day to the next. All I'm I'm expected to just show up and perform like a monkey with a little grinder, organ grinder thing. I don't know what an organ grinder sounds like. You think she'd be excited to be here at 6.30 in the morning? Uh, you know, she made a commitment. That's what I'm so, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, and it's not like she's doing anything else. Mm -hmm. You know, her other job doesn't open until 10 or something. She got plenty of time, so she just needs to know, uh, I am not happy. But for the rest of you, you get to deal with me. So the rest of you means you, of course, and, and the other two people that are listening. And the, uh, the three full cutouts that we have in the studio of uh, various bad guys and good guys, depending on your definition. So, uh, in case you haven't figured it out, it's T-Bone in the morning! And we're going to be talking about stuff. I heard you talking about the golf tournament on the way in. Uh, yeah, do you like golf? Um, no, but there's several people here that do. They're pretty big fans of golf in general. They like to do that stuff. Yeah, but this I, is more of a fundraising event as well for the Navy I, Golf I do Committee. The, I do the fundraisers. I also work with a nutcase that uh, really loves golf all day long. Blah, blah, blah. Chick brew? No, Pete. Okay. Hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I... I am not a good golfer, but I do golf. Okay. Um, I start with 18 balls, and when I run out, I quit. You know, there's no – once you've gone through 18 balls, there's no reason playing anymore. It's just to take the rest of the day off, go have a beer. Do you get, like, three holes in and you're out of, you're out of balls? No, no, or? no. I mean, I finish sometimes. Okay. And sometimes I finish and I still have balls in my bag, which is, which is nice because uh, balls are expensive. <laughs> uh, speaking of balls – so uh, there's a couple of them coming up. I, I know this because there's car washes going on. Yeah. Yeah. Nice whenever time. there's a car wash, you know, there's a ball coming up somewhere. I don't know what the next one is. Let's see. Uh, I think the Corman ball is the most recent one. That might have just happened. Just happened? Yeah, I feel like that and, just. And then because the nurses like to be separate, they have their own thing. But that's usually around Faria. And then the Navy ball, that's, you know, later. And the Marine Corps ball is later than that. My favorite one is in spring. It's the CB ball. That's a, that's a good one. That's a good time if you can get tickets because uh, it sells out. They got a great MC, many years running. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be, uh, we're going to go ahead and put a check in that box. I'm mad at Chick Brew. Got that covered. We'll be talking about a national night out that's coming up uh, soon, the first Tuesday in August, as it has been for the last 35 years. We'll be talking about the playa and how wonderful it is to live this close to the playa. And we'll be talking about the, uh, the bad people of Rhoda. I had eight violators on the way in this morning. Eight violators. Eight violators. And one good person. And we'll talk smack about them. But in the meantime, uh, it's your opportunity to tell us something good. I try I try to think ahead of time. What are we going to do to get people more interested, more exciting? Uh, you could have just left that off. <laughs> uh, people more excited about the show. You know, uh, we have people that call in pretty frequent. We got some regular listeners even though we joke and say it's only one or two and uh we get a lot of facebook interaction during the t-bone in the morning or t-bone and chick in the morning shows and i just i always try to think of ways to engage more people how can i get more people involved and i thought leading into this weekend maybe maybe a host of positivity like i'm all about that if we could get people to share with us their things that they've done that were good you know you've had a whole week on this planet have you done anything good for anybody in the last week? I, all right, I didn't mean to put you on the spot Man. spot. I'll give you a, I'll give you a couple song breaks to think okay. about it. Okay, cool. And I'll also give you out there, that's what we're looking for today. In, the, in your last week on this planet, what have you done 
positively to somebody else or for somebody else. We're looking forward to hearing your stories of positivity because uh, we need some interaction this morning. As you can tell from listening, I'm not getting it from my partner. <laughs> yeah, so feel free to message us or call in on Facebook as well. But first, we're going to get back to the music and then we're going to talk about National Night Out. But first, Andrew McCone with Cecilia and the Satellite here on AFN Roto. Fallout Boy with Uma Thurman here on AFN Roto. I'm back, DJ Andres, with T Bone for T Bone in the Morning. So that's uh, uh, that's that's part of the song. That, yeah, that seven seconds of upsetting the, static. The drain draining. That's what yes. it sounds like. Can you bring that down just to do just bit, to, yep, just so. a little bit? A little, a little, more? A little more. Yeah. There we go. Yay. <laughs> so we play music when we're not talking, so that. Uh, our friends, our friends in the gym can be motivated through music. Good morning, Eric. How are you? Uh, <laughs> you never know if they're listening at that moment when you say good morning. It was so funny. So uh, last Thursday on CO with the J- Joe. Mor- morning, Joe. At the CO. Morning, Joe with the CO. Dyslexic much? I think not. He gave shout outs at the end of the show, and mm-hmm. I thought that was fantastic. So on T-Bone in the morning last week, I decided I was going to give some shout outs at the end of that show. And I referenced what the skipper had done the day before. And on Monday morning, my phone's getting blown up, asking me to tell everybody exactly what the CEO said about him. <laughs> and and I, I, I defaulted with, he said nice things about this person, this person, this person, this person. And if you wanted to listen, you, you need to listen to his show. He puts mm. on a good show. I, I like listening to the skipper. And I'm not cross-promoting. I'm just saying, and I'm not sucking up. I don't need to. I'm just saying he, he does a real good job. People were actually messaging us about that, like, "Hey, I heard the CEO said some things about like my command." Like, oh, we don't. I mean, we don't. We don't broadcast old episodes. I'm sorry, but <laughs> yeah. So the the new favorite part of uh, the morning Joe with the CEO is going to be his uh, end of the day shout outs. That's going to be the new thing for people to listen to. So um, what we what we're asking now is we're asking for your stories of positivity, and we ask you to reach out to us on the AFN Rota Facebook page, and we've asked you to reach out to us through the studio, number 727-1025. Uh, we didn't put out the number, but luckily we put it out enough in the past that we got a couple of calls in. So we got uh, three interesting stories of positivity. Um, and uh, positivity can be anything. I mean, you just you got to do something nice for somebody. That's all you got to do. It could be your spouse. You know, you could pick up that thing you were supposed to pick up or, you know, refill the water bottle you could do little <laughs> things for your spouse you could you know put the stuff away that the spouse always can play you can do things but uh uh karen she is proud of the fact that in her last week on this planet she actually uh helped the community at large by collecting several shopping carts in the commissary parking lot and returning them to the corral. She had a little extra time in her hands, so she just walked around the parking lot and picked up some shopping carts and returned them. So in, in, there's your shout-out, Karen. You did a great job. You did a good thing in your last week on this planet. Uh, Steve, uh, he let us know that uh, he's going on vacation, and although he didn't do it last week, uh, this next week is going to be... Um, his co-workers are not going to have to deal with him. So he thinks that's a good thing that he's doing. Good for Steve's co-workers. <laughs> is Steve a talker? Is that how you... He, uh, yeah, he's a little long in the tooth, I believe they say. He, uh, he's like a saber-toothed tiger when it comes to talking. <laughs> and Joel, Joel decided that uh, he was going to give everyone a little extra time in the crosswalk this week. He was, he, That's what he considered. To be, I, I, I don't know, Joel. Uh, I'm, having, I'm having a hard time giving you points on that one. If there were five stars to give out for great things that you did for people, I, I'd probably give you one, maybe two. Because although you think you're doing a good thing for the pedestrians, the people behind you uh, are not enjoying that at all. So <laughs> we're going to continue with that. We're going to take your input. If you've got anything that you've done um, in, 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 in a, the spirit of giving and loving and positivity, God, it's hard for me to say those words. Uh, uh, in the last week on this planet, what have you done to help your fellow person being spouse? We're looking to share your stories. Now, uh, I can tell you what we haven't had in the last week. No DUIs. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, So all of you, if you wanted to share that, you could say, yeah, I didn't do much, but I didn't get a DUI. Good I, job. I didn't get a DUI. Five stars. You're welcome, Rhoda. <laughs> 
Um, how much do we, I see you fumbling. We're good? Okay. You can always give me that, and I'll know. Um, so I think April 29th was our last one, you know, and uh, it shouldn't, and before that, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what a last one was, as long as we can continue going and going and going without having them. Um, and the way we do that is we uh, act like adults and we think ahead. Like, I got to go, I don't go out in the middle of the week very often, I, or what we call a school night. I don't go out on a school night. Uh, but I did this week because I had some friends in town visiting, and I went to a Cheringuito, which I love. I walked to the Cheringuito because I knew I was going to abide in adult libations. And I did. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, I'm i not a young man anymore. So I have a set bedtime and things need to work out. And man, you, you mess that up just a little bit, you know, where I am normally in bed going to sleep at taps every night. Uh, I wasn't home at taps, so that was impossible. But it was... It was a great time. And then I, I walked home. Ooh, look at that. No DUI for me. And I consumed a lot of alcohol. And you can do the same thing too if you just have a plan. I recommend that one taxi app. It is amazing. It treats every taxi in, in Spain pretty much. I've used it everywhere. It treats every taxi like your own personal Uber. You, you tell them what kind of cab you want. You know, I had my family here. So I wanted the minivan. They sent me minivan. Uh, I didn't have to try to squeeze people into a vehicle that they, we wouldn't have fit in. It's a real good time. I, what are you doing? You scare me every time you do that. I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm, no, I'm, I'm a mover. I'm no good. sudden no. movements. Okay. <laughs> That's my good deed for today is I won't upset you with my very s small movements. <laughs> All right. Uh, so the, the one taxi app, again, that's a great thing to have. Uh, it, it works really well. It treats every cab in the area like an Uber. There's also the what's the taxi program? The oh, uh, the Arrive Alive program. That no, is, the local I mean, program. Well, it's oh, not that, that might have that. been. That, that's oh, sorry. I'm sorry. That's what Tipsy they called it back in Norfolk. The that's what Tipsy they called it in Norfolk. Taxi but, yeah. program here, uh, where you get a card during your uh, under 25. I don't know when you get the card. I never got a card. Uh, so you get the card, and if you find yourself in a bad situation, you ain't got any money, and you need to get back, and you, you're too drunk to drive. You give the card to, you know, can somebody come on and explain that to me? <laughs> That's details. Okay, so go ahead. Only, I only know this because I am this re AFN's representative for that. It is, it is arrive alive, because I. But it's, it's real simple. Obviously, you go out drinking, adult libations, as you like to say. You need to get home safely. Don't drive. You, you need, but you don't have money or you're, just, you can't function well. You give the taxi. They know how to take you back to base, and they just, hey, this, they'll charge you. The chief's mess will pay for the upfront fee but they will expect i mean you will pay it back eventually but that's just in case of emergencies they are paying the taxi ride is free for you get home safely it gets back to the chain of command area they pay it and then you pay it on your own time but like they so do want it back though they changed the name to yes. arrive alive yes what was wrong with tipsy taxi no idea they're both alliterative <laughs> Uh, whatever, man. Just change for the sense of change. By the way, nice ponytail. I really like that. Thank you. <laughs> I'm getting a ponytail today. So, so uh, we're gonna come back to that. First, we got some. We gotta lead into some news, <laughs> sports, and then we'll, we'll be back probably in about ten minutes after we get through all of that. But taking us to the top, we're gonna go old school with some Buddy Holly here in AFN Rota. What? Seven two seven one zero two five. American Authors with What We Live For here in AFN Rota. We are Boy, that, back. That dies out rather abruptly, yes, doesn't it? Just boom. We're, we're I, would, I would like, yeah, longer transitions. Like, <laughs> just, oh, that natural fade instead of like that. Like what that. we live for. Boop. But we're back with T-Bone in the morning. It's T-Bone in the morning. You got to say it with emphysis, man. Emphysis. <laughs> emphysis. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's see what are we talked about this morning we talked about a lot of things we talked about the upcoming golf tournament in case you weren't listening actually you talked about it before i came on and we talked about it while i came on and uh, we talked about chick brew not being here boo uh, we talked about no duis we talked about uh, positivity and and reaching out and we got some responses from karen steven and joel in reference to what have you done uh to uh increase to, to what am I want to say here? Help me with this. You make somebody's life, somebody else's life, it's a little bit easier. It's just not, you put a smile on somebody's yeah, face. What maybe. have you done for somebody else? I'm going to write that down so I remember it. What have you done for somebody else this week? Um, and, and we got a couple of quick things. We're still taking your your ideas of what you've done 
for somebody this week. If you've done something nice, we, we would like to share your story uh, in the 20 minutes I've got left here. Uh, but what we really haven't talked about, which is coming up, is uh, the 35th. Well, I think I hit on it, didn't I? The 35th annual. You teased National- it. Oh, I teased it. I'm good at that. <laughs> is the uh, National Night Out. So the first Tuesday, which is strange because this year we're actually doing it on the first Tuesday in August. Okay. Um, it, it's always been on the first Tuesday in August, but we've had to submit a waiver to the committee uh, a couple of years in a row now because we've been so busy in our our inspection cycle, we couldn't do it on the first Tuesday in August. Mm-hmm. But it's, so this is the first time in about four years we're doing it on the first Tuesday in August. You stop doing that. <laughs> So what National Night Out is for any of you that haven't been here with us before or haven't seen it before, it's a it's a community policing event where we, we have a parade and there's candy and kids and marchers and cars and it's a parade. It's pretty cool. Uh, it starts at the CO Circle and makes its way down to Seaview Pines. When you get to Seaview Pines, there's going to be free food and there's going to be static displays and there's going to be, what is the opposite of a static display? What would you call it? Moving that? displays? Uh, uh, <laughs> non-static a, a displays? non-static <laughs> display. Yeah, our MW team's going to be out there doing some demonstrations. Of course, EOD's going to be out there, the boys and their toys riding around on their combat segues uh, <laughs> and playing with the robots. And I, I think the Marines are going to be out there again with us this year. Of course, all of our Spanish law enforcement friends are going to join us with their static displays. So, again, it's just a real good night to get out of the house, come together, find out that we're all one love, you know, and uh, and then go back to work. So National Night Out is going to be on August the 7th, the first Tuesday in August. Uh, more details to follow as far as when the parade starts and when the food starts, you know, because somebody out there listening is going to send me that information so I can share it with you. That's how that's how that works. If you give me the information, I'll share it or I'll just wing it. We're just going to say the parade starts at 6 in the morning. <laughs> Sounds good way to start the night out at yeah, yeah. 6 in the morning. Uh, yeah, yeah, it'll be warm. So, yeah, that's another check in the box of things we wanted to discuss today. And we got at least one more thing left. We're still willing to share your stories on what you did in, your, in the last week on this planet. What have you done for somebody else to make them smile, to make somebody happy? And uh, we're going to go back to the music. 727-1025 is the phone number. And a Facebook slash AFN Rota is the Facebook page. We're taking your stuff there. It's T-Bone in the morning. Up next, we got Kenny Chesney and Pink with Setting the World on Fire here in AFN Rota. You're such a good DJ. Ben Rector with Brand New here in AFN Rota. You're back with DJ Andres and T-Bone in the morning. <laughs> There's some something something a little bit different. A little more emphysis. Emphysis. Yes. There we go. It's T-Bone in the morning. I love the uh, I love the little promo that Seda did with that uh, run. That's so funny. So uh, yeah, we, we have had a great hour talking about all kinds of community information, specifically highlighting the upcoming golf tournament. That's today for the Navy Ball Committee. I don't know if we can plug that anymore in one show. Anyway, National Night Out. That's coming up on the first Tuesday in August. Be sure to check that out. I'd share more information with you, but uh, no one sent me any messages. So we're, we're still mad at Chick Brew because she's not here. Uh, we talked about uh, all kinds of good things, but mostly today we focused on you know doing good things for other people, just doing something nice. And and then at the end of the week, we're going to try to make this a thing. At the end of the week, we're going to just ask you, hey, what did you do nice for somebody else? In your last week on this planet, what have you done nice for somebody else? And we try to come up with some suggestions, some ideas, some things that you could do. You know, there's always somebody out there looking for a pet sitter. And if you don't have a pet, you know what's the best ne- next best thing? Pet sitting. It's not like babysitting. You know, if you don't have a baby, the next best thing is not babysitting. But if you don't have a pet, next best thing is pet sitting. I I, I have a, an awesome babysitter or dog sitter. I have an awesome dog sitter. And uh, I'm going to, I have another couple that's going to be dog sitting. I'm sure that's going to be fantastic too. Because, yeah, pet sitting. Think about it. That's something you could do. Look for the people who are struggling on Roto Q&A, who need a break from their everyday life and need a pet sitter. And volunteer your time, especially if it's a cat. You know, you got to pet sit a cat. You're going to be fine. Cat's going to take care of himself. No problem. Dog, depending on the breed, might be a little bit more challenging. Mm -hmm. Um, So you could do that. Here's something else you could do. Now, when we say, you know, do something nice, we're talking extra, something different than you would normally do. 
Um, try, you know, try doing something for your spouse. You know, would it kill you? Would it really kill you to do a little something extra for your spouse? You never know what's coming up. You never know what you're going to do. Uh, yeah, be nice and do something extra. Make your spouse smile. How about that? And if you're taking that as a suggestion, it is. Because yeah, she might be listening. <laughs> 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 uh, or, or and, and this is, personally, it's actually one of my favorites. Random. Oh, yeah. Just random acts of kindness, man. I love doing it. I love uh, I love buying that stranger the beer and not even letting them know. You know, just, uh, the beer's been bought for you. Have a good day. Or uh, And I, I told you about this. I used to, the retirees down in Florida, when mm-hmm. they would come through the commissary, yeah. and they would have, like, six packs of 25 cent crackers and a coca-cola you you kind of knew that's what they were eating for the day yeah and i'd buy that it would be three bucks and it would make their day and it cost me three bucks so it's an easy thing to do i'm gonna tell you when you start doing nice things to four people the reward you get is not you know uh person of the year or anything like that you, you you feel better about yourself because our time is limited man our time on this planet is limited you should at, you should make it a point within a week's time frame to do something nice for somebody. And you better have an answer the next time I come. I did have one, actually. It just <laughs> occurred to me. So the person who's, uh, let's say, politely asking us to plug this golf storing event, the Navy Ball Committee was hosting a mac and cheese sale on Wednesday. And on the Tuesday, hey, first it was like, do you want to volunteer? And like, do you need help? Like, do you want to make something? And like, all right, yeah, I made it. Like, it's just with what I had at home. I was able to contribute and it ended up being a good day on Wednesday. Ironically, it was National Hot Dog Day, but yes. we were selling mac and cheese on Wednesday. Just kind of something different. But yeah, it was a good time. And, and, and you made mac and cheese. Yes. What was yours called? Mine was the chili mac, which I got, I got some good. Like, there's a lot of different ones. Like, he had a green chili. There's a lot of the bacon. There's a bake, a Chipotle bacon one that was super popular. That Everybody was, loved the bacon. Yes. Everyone that came back to my office loved the bacon. That was a, that was a really popular one. But I, yeah, it was good. It was just fun. Like I have my cook, own baked cool macaroni and, then, and cheese recipe. I, I, I can't see eating somebody else's. It's like <laughs> cheating on my own taste buds. <laughs> So uh, do something for somebody. Do something for your spouse. Do something for a random person. And, uh, I mean, if you're if you're really running out of suggestions, I'm going to tell you, uh, if you're walking uh, on the streets or on a bicycle and it's dark out, wear your reflective gear. Because I, I would appreciate it. It would make me happy. Eight people this morning, no reflective gear. One person on a bicycle that was lit up and reflective gear. That one person made me happy because the last eight, he was the last person I saw, by the way. Okay. I passed eight, and I was angry. I was mad. Man, you would have been in a bad mood coming in, but I, like, oh, okay, this guy. Well, I'm not that angry. <laughs> <laughs> and then I see the bicycle guy. I'm like, oh, thank you. Thank you. And uh, that made my day. So he made my day. And if we can come back next week and talk again about another successful week with nobody being stupid and getting a DUI or nobody drinking and driving or nobody getting hurt or worse, killed because of uh, dumb decisions, you know, that, uh, that would make me happy. So you'd be doing something for me. That That's a good week. Think about that. Okay? <laughs> Think and- about making T-Bone happy by not getting a DUI yeah if you if you do not do stupid things that makes me happy and if you can't find anybody else in your actual life to make happy well make me happy and <laughs> I pulled back on that one that was <laughs> belay, belay his last uh, yeah you can you can make me happy by just uh wearing your reflective gear and and obeying the law and uh and not getting a DUI or killing or hurting somebody while driving that would really make my day. But I would prefer if you actually had stories to share with someone in your life or someone that you don't know that you did random acts of kindness for. Random acts of kindness. That's what we're talking about. Be good, people. It's been T-Bone in the morning, and I am out of here. Thank you so much to T-Bone for coming on today. Uh, we're going to go back to the music, and then after that, we're going to throw our 730 stand-up, some Brian Regan. But first, CeeLo Green. CeeLo Green, forget you here I'm on 800. I'm not leaving until after Brian All right, Regan. you can stay for some Brian Regan. <laughs>